Hello and welcome to our instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to install an OWC Mercury Excelsior Pro-Q PCIe Solid State Drive in early 2009 through mid-2012 Mac Pro models. We've already gathered our materials, shut down, disconnected, and unplugged the Mac Pro, and we'll be working on a soft, static-free surface. We're now ready to begin. To open the Mac Pro, lift up on the latch on the back of the tower. Then, lean the side door forward slightly and lift the whole piece up and out. Next, you'll want to remove the hard drive carriers to give yourself some room to work. Press and hold the button on the fan assembly and slide the outer part towards the front of the Mac Pro. This will allow you to remove longer cards such as your video card. If your video card has a power connector, you'll want to disconnect it now. Loosen the two thumb screws on the PCIe slot cover plate. You can use your fingers if you wish, but depending on the tightness, a Phillips screwdriver may be easier. You can now remove the cover plate from the Mac Pro. At this point, you can remove the graphics card from your Mac Pro. It should just slide out of the slot. Once all the cards have been removed, we can remove the fan unit itself. To remove the fan, you'll first need to remove these two screws holding it in. You may want to use tweezers or a similar tool so you don't accidentally drop them inside the machine where they can be difficult to retrieve. Once the screws have been removed, you can pull the fan unit forward, then up and out of the Mac Pro. The last thing to do before installing your Pro-Q is disconnect the 4-pin power connector next to the two SATA ports on the logic board. Do this by pressing the small latch on the plug as you pull it out. On the power cable that came with your Pro-Q, find the 4-pin socket end. Take the cable you just disconnected and slide it into the socket so that this little hook lines up with the latch on the cable's connector. Once you've done that, take the other four-prong connector on the cable and plug it into the port on the logic board so that the latch is facing up. We can now reinstall the fan unit. On the back of the unit, there are two holes. These need to line up with the two pins that move the PCIe retainer bar. Put the two tabs in the bottom of the fan unit into the two holes in the Mac Pro and push the unit back into place. Then, replace the two screws that hold it in. Next, thread the cable you connected over and around the back of the fan unit. The Mercury Excelsior Pro-Q will function normally in any of the available PCIe slots. However, OWC recommends using a 16-lane slot for maximum performance. We'll need to remove the cover that lines up with this slot, which will be the third space from the bottom. It should simply slide out. We can now reinstall the graphics card and plug it back in. There's a notch in the Pro-Q's connector that lines up with the pin in the PCIe slot. Align the two and slide them together. On the back of the Pro-Q is a power connector. This is where you attach the power cable you installed earlier. Now we need to replace the PCIe slot cover plate. Make sure to insert it a little low, then move it upwards so that it slides underneath the hook at the top. Once in place, use the thumb screws to secure the plate. Then, you can slide the fan unit towards the back of the Mac Pro. 
Replace any drives you may have removed and we're ready to close up. Set the side door into place and make sure it's sitting flush with the case. Finally, close the latch to secure the door. You can now hook up your Mac Pro, plug it in, and turn it on.